Hey guys, how are you guys doing today? We're back with, with some more not Pirate Galaxy because today is the day that I think I need to stop playing this game. I, I'm, I'm serious about this now, like I, I seriously need to stop playing this game because there's literally nobody is playing this game and I can't get these missions done because they're one, impossible to do without a squad. I am serious now, like this is such a difficult thing without people actually being there okay like i'm serious it's it's so difficult and i need to to spread my 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 gaming uh my gaming life um into different categories of games because pirate galaxy it is I, I don't think it's it, it's it's there anymore like it's not existed until they have new tau city to new Tau City stuff comes out. It's not playing. I don't think it's even worth playing the game anymore. If like until that comes out, or if it's terrible, people are gonna leave again. But as you guys can see, I I skipped a few missions to get to where we are, and we did weaponize Methanoid as the last mission that we did. The next mission we did, or we're supposed to do, is transporter sabotage. Now transporter sabotage. Sabotage is a very, very, very difficult mission. Mission. It's a very difficult, difficult mission, and you need at least, and I mean minimum, a four man squad. I'm serious. This thing is a hard mission. You can do it with a three man mission, but it is still very difficult to nail it with three man. Four man is the one that goes for it. Five man will pretty much be easy. You also need two OCs. If you don't know what OC is, outside cover. You need two outside covers, which is insane because there's too many mantis on freaking Gazica on the locations you need to go. Now, if you haven't seen, um, what's it called, a uh, transporter transporter sabotage ever, okay? If, if you've never seen that mission done before, I have it on the channel. I have done it, but. That was when the time where there was actually people and I was in a clan that was very active, that was willing to help me with these. But now I'm in a clan where there's nobody online and nobody gives a shit about the game and it's, and it's really really pissing me off now. And I'm starting to, to just say like screw screw this game, I, you know, I'll you just go play something else and make videos about them because I, I love playing video games and I want to do that for you guys. But like... I can't do the mission, like I just seriously can't do the, do the mission. Transporter sabotage, you can't do it unless you have OC, you have people in squad, and it's really really making me mad because I can't show you how it's done with the Luvian armor. Yes, it's gonna be harder, but at least I can show you how it's done so that you can, you know, so you can like look at it and be like, okay, this is even though, you know, you, you have weaker armor, you know, you can still get the mission done. <sighs> Okay, that mission out of the way. The next mission is called um, Mihoth Extermination. That mission is soloable. Very easy. Place the mines into like a uh, a crescent moon, but have make sure they have space in between them so that they don't explode all at the same time, and you should be good. Very easy mission. You shouldn't fail that mission. Super easy. Transfer hijack. You need to have a squad. If you don't have a squad, it's over. You need at least a two-man squad, no OC requirement, but that's it. I don't even have another person to help me with that mission either. Which is making me so mad because it's only one person. I just need one person with me to transport a hijack. Hive ship attack. Hive ship attack, that is another extremely hard mission. A four-man or three-man is very highly recommended. And I do need a five-man for this mission because... Um, or five man or four man, not not um, not. I need a five man. I need a five man or four man to do this because the mantis they come in waves. Yes, you can put down the turrets. Okay, the turrets will will defend the the, the mantis. But if the turrets die, it's over. And I can't just go down there with my engineer and just heal all the turrets. No, the turrets have very very low health, and you and the engineer only has about two healing components rep target and a rep field and you can't materialize them even though you know you can't materialize stuff but it's so hard to do these missions without people actually have done them before i have all of the gazika missions in my channel you guys can check them out um links in the links in the, in the descriptions below 
but like I just can't do it by myself like I have done all of these missions by myself up until this point and I just feel like there's there's no use keep playing to keep playing this game because I just can't do the last few missions because they are very very difficult and they're very very precise on what you need to accomplish it so I feel like it, it's it's not even worth playing anymore now if if somehow okay if somehow you get to the hive okay the hive is actually a little bit easier than um than Gazica because hive you can just jump stuff over walls very easily um let's see the first three missions are pretty easy um uh, meth tech is pretty easy uh, rescue later is pretty easy master generators are gonna give you some uh, some difficulties uh, because that's where uh, custodian commanders spawn and uh, you gotta kill them really really fast because the more the more time it takes for you to kill a single turret or a single um, a unit more and more and more will spawn and they will always keep spawning okay they will always always 100% spawn the turret attack is super hard if you don't know what you're doing because because you get one turret okay you want to defend one turret and you have to have one outside cover because there's the, there's a death squad that goes through there there's also a mender that goes through there there's assassins that go through there there's just a lot of stuff that you need to defend if i mean and and like i said i have all these videos up on youtube it's just that i did them with methanord armor um so it's a little bit easier for me but that they're, they're basically the, the same missions um but like like I said, there's nobody in, in the clan that's online that can that I can actually do. Like there's nobody online that can actually help me with this. Repair puzzle is actually pretty easy. Battle cruiser is easy. Victus mutilator. If you do not have at least a two man squad, it's over. If you do not have membership on that two man squad, it's also over. Okay, but the person killing the killing mutilator is has to have membership. If you do not have membership, it's gone. Unless you two can like switch in between, and uh, and using the energy efficiently, then you, you know you, you can pass it. But you have to have energy so you, so you can kill the switch before mutilator gets back and activates the switch. And if he activates the switch, the mission fails. Hive engineering bay is also pretty easy. It's just two bosses, you kill them. Cruiser Phoenix. It's pretty difficult. Like that that mission is pretty difficult. I don't remember what we have to do, but um but yeah, Barbarian Revenge is now apparently really difficult because, you know, people are saying it's really difficult. Soul Reprisal is really easy. Mantis and Cryonite is I believe it's pretty easy. Um so uh, yeah, Soul Reprisal is just sniper class and boom, you win. Um life of life and death now this thing is stupid okay this thing you need a four-man squad you used to be able to pass it solo if you have membership there's just so many things that requires membership in here and and, and this game so like it's kind of like pay to win but you know you know you, you know what i mean but of life and death it's you, you can't pass the mission unless you have membership and like I, and if you want to pass the mission you have to have the like a four man and that's without membership like you have to have a four man to a five man you need a okay here's requirements and there's also requirement ships okay you need a storm you need snipers you need um one engineer will be really really helpful um and then everybody else can be offensive because you need to kill that core extremely fast you need two storms to kill the marauders fast enough to where to where the the cruiser doesn't go back and kill the marauders you need snipers for high dpm over time so that you can kill the core you need at least one engineer so that they can keep the storms alive while they fighting the marauders because in the area there's also custodian commander the custodian commanders there's also turrets there's also mines there's also there's just a lot of crap in there right and then you want let's see so we got two storms we got one sniper we got um an engineer so that's a four man right there and if the last mission i mean the last ship can be anything that you want in there so you know you want more damage than you know um and then after that after that is just like the queen the queen is, su is super easy just kill her and uh i have a video on that too but like all these missions that require squads 
I can't do them. Even though, even though I know the mechanics, okay, I know, I know, for, I know how to do the mission. It's just that you need a squad to pass them. It's impossible to pass them without a, without a squad, unless there's a glitch that I don't know yet. Which if you know, if you guys know a glitch, then please, please tell me so I can actually make a video about it, so then I can, um, like show you guys how to do it. But other than that, I don't know how to pass these missions without having a squad. I know how to do it, but I just don't understand how you can pass these missions without having a squad so this video may sound like I was ranting on and all that stuff but I think I will do the last few missions that are difficult in power galaxy the last few missions that are gonna be difficult is prison break prison break will be one of the missions that I will redo Mantis dungeon, I'm not gonna redo because it's just scouting out the dungeon. Um, I, I, I might, like, I'm still thinking about this. Like, I'm just telling you guys what I may or may do. I probably will go back to Antares and do the Juggernaut missions for you guys because some of you guys want to see the Juggernaut mission, um, kill that thing. Um, uh, but yeah. I'm just really upset about this because there's nobody to help to like help do anything like in this game anymore so I, I think after this we'll play a different game probably something very different very very different and um, yeah I'm sorry if this sounded sounded like a rant get rent um, what <laughs> so I'm sorry if this sounded kind of like a rant but like I, I'm just so mad that like I can't do these missions because of stupid requirements like this and I mean I can I can only match with so much of what I know of this game so anyways guys if you guys find this helpful leave a like um, yeah, I mean you, you, don't even, you don't even have to like I don't really care um, if you got some something to comment about uh, you can and uh, yeah see you guys next time